for Oregoners, number two, Alistair Roll. From Southwestern, number two, Jeremy Caleb. For the Oregoners, number four, Brad Blunt. From Southwestern, number four, Keith Kizzy. For the Oregoners, number six, Lorenzo Satter. For Southwestern, number five, Damon Willis. For the Oregoners, number seven, Mark Jensen. For the Bulldogs, number six, Richard Banks. For the Oregoners, number eight, Guy Hall. For Southwestern, number seven, Brad Woodard. For the Oregoners, number 11, Davis Almanza. For the Bulldogs, number eight, Reggie Jackson. For the Oregoners, number 13, Jesse Kegel. For the Bulldogs, number 10, Chris Roberts. For the Oregoners, number 18, Chris Prince. For the Bulldogs, number 12, Justin Cornelson. For the Oregoners, number 19, King Clark. For the Bulldogs, number 13, Chris Talley. For the Oregoners, number 22, Darby McKee. For the Bulldogs, number 17, Clifton Beacon. For the Oregoners, number 23, Blaine Hardy. For the Bulldogs, number 18, David Garman. For the Oregoners, number 24, Toby Westbrook. For the Bulldogs, number 20, Landon Curtis. For the Oregoners, number 25, Travis Garza. For the Bulldogs, number 21, Brandon Montgomery. For the Oregoners, number 26, Dustin Sersland. For the Bulldogs, number 24, Jeff Steindorf. For the Oregoners, number 29, Brian Sother. For the Bulldogs, number 25, Marshall Oliver. For the Oregoners, number 30, Jimmy Watson. For the Bulldogs, number 27, John Featherstone. For the Oregoners, number 31, Josh Vincent. For the Bulldogs, number 30, Shane Hunt. For the Oregoners, number 32, Justin Daniel. For the Bulldogs, number 32, Jake Jensen. For the Oregoners, number 33, Chris Turner. For the Bulldogs, number 33, Johan Brown. For the Oregoners, number 34, Mark Cheney. For the Bulldogs, number 36, Chad Vaughn. For the Oregoners, number 35, Kent Food. For the Bulldogs, number 40, David Womack. For the Oregoners, number 36, Chad Rossi. For the Bulldogs, number 41, Mike O'Neill. For the Oregoners, number 40, John Croston. For the Bulldogs, number 43, Jeremy Teague. For the Oregoners, number 41, Tim Dilworth. For the Bulldogs, number 44, Brian Stansbury. For the Oregoners, number 45, Peter Ekran. For the Bulldogs, number 45, Mark Patterson. For the Oregoners, number 46, Dan Haney. For the Bulldogs, number 46, Devin Wilcox. For the Oregoners, number 48, Tanner Egan. For the Bulldogs, number 47, Jeremy Williams. For the Oregoners, number 49, Sean Evans. For the Bulldogs, number 48, Jared Pipkin. For the Oregoners, number 51, Paul Latke. For the Bulldogs, number 50, Brandon Whitney. For the Oregoners, number 53, Jason Fleury. For the Bulldogs, number 51, Casey Alexander. For the Oregoners, number 57, Chris Opie. For the Bulldogs, number 53, Matt Edders. For the Oregoners, number 59, Mike Shoemaker. For the Bulldogs, number 54, Chad Crane. 
Old New York Nickers, number 61, Corey Stovall. Blue Bulldog, number 58, Brandon Tucker. Old New York Nickers, number 63, Jason Halverson. For the Bulldogs, number 64, Kevin Gatewood. For the Ordinators, number 67, Jeremy LaCour. For the Bulldogs, number 70, Jason Kinney. For the Ordinators, number 68, Kirk Katie. For the Bulldogs, number 71, Jay Coffey. For the Ordinators, number 72, Zach Brown. For the Bulldogs, number 72, Jeff Chapin. For the Ordinators, number 74, David Neste. The Bulldogs, number 74, Fred Erpelding. For the Ordinators, number 75, Tom Grimm. For the Bulldogs, number 75, Dwight Mincher. For the Ordinators, number 78, Harry Nelson. For the Bulldogs, number 76, Mark Chaffin. For the Ordinators, number 79, Jeremiah Bronze. For the Bulldogs, number 77, Robert Graves. For the Ordinators, number 84, Jeremy Boyer. For the Bulldogs, number 85, Corey Strayhorn. For the Ordinators, number 86, Greg Hilton. For the Bulldogs, number 86, Tariq Reed. For the Ordinators, number 89, Brian Larson. For the Bulldogs, number 99, JJ Carruthers. For the Ordinators, number 90, Shane Barrett. For the Bulldogs, number 95, Gary Bigelow. For the Ordinators, number 93, Ben Pickus. For the Bulldogs, number 96, Jason Chris. For the Ordinators, number 94, Bobby Anderson. For the Bulldogs, number 98, Robbie Newberg. For the Ordinators, number 97, Dwayne Cookton. Head coach for the Bulldogs, Paul Sharp. Head coach for your Montana Tech Ordinators, Bob Green. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, we ask you to rise for the national anthem. The colors are presented by the color guard. Detachment Marine Detachment of Fort Sill and the command of Colonel Leonard Lynn Stewart. The color sergeant is Sergeant John B. Hobson of Ardmore. Color bearers, Sergeant Jeffrey Stanley of Napa Valley, California. The rifleman, Corporal Manuel Melvin of Fayetteville, North Carolina. And Corporal Sean M. Patterson of Danbury, Texas. Uh, after the presenting of the colors, the national anthem will be sung by Skip Klingman. from the Marine Battery at Fort Sill under the command of Captain J.N. Wright. These gentlemen are also present for today's game. Thank you, gentlemen. The official for today's football game all come from the Kansas City area. Norman Brooks, Ken Bradshaw, Carl King, Russ Weber, Gary Waite, Ken Rafferty, and the alternate, Terry French. Ladies and 
Gentlemen, also present for the point class will be the chief, chief executive officers of the two institutions, Dr. Lindsey Norman, president of Montana Tech, Dr. Joanna Hibbler, president of Southwestern Oklahoma State University. Last night, the two presidents exchanged uh, gifts at the athletic banquet. Receivers to the right 
side. Man in motion is uh, Kizzy. As Brad Woodard back to throw, Jr. from Dewey, Oklahoma, zips one across to Charlotte Reed across the middle, and it's caught as Reed gets across the 30, down to the 29-yard line. Tackle made to Jesse Kegel. Kegel, the strong. They had uh, two wide outs on the near side. They both went long pin catches. Reggie Jackson with 39, of course, the late Alvin Milton had 23, number two on the reception charts. Here's the give to Keith Kizzy trying to go outside as uh, Kizzy gets to the 29-yard line. Good pursuit that time by and I came across and grabbed him from behind. It'll be second down and 10 yards, Tano Tech in white with silver helmets, green numbers, Bulldogs and navy blue, white numbers, white helmets. Quarterback Brad Woodard back to throw the football. Woodard throws. It's complete to Charlie Creed down at the 21-yard line, and Charlie Creed rides when the ball went to Charlie Creed. Wide to the left side is Reggie Jackson. Wide to the right side is Damon Willis. High formation. Here's the give to Kizzy, and Kizzy will be tackled. Great penetration to Lackey. Man, he's made an impression already. Paul Lackey, number 51, for the defensive call from one. Going to go for it rather than a field goal. Damon Willis wide to the left side. Reggie Jackson wide to the right side. Big play for both teams. Quick pitch back. Sweeping the near side is Kizzy, and Kizzy gets down across the 15. To the 14-yard line, he's picked up the first down. They may mark his progress back at about the 15-yard line, but he will be up for the Southwestern, not nationally ranked offensively. They are nationally ranked up. Left end split, like a right eye formation. As the quarterback, Brad Woodard, junior from Dewey, Oklahoma, transfer from the University of Houston, hands it off to Talley across the field, fights his way to the five to the four, down to the three-yard line. Kurt Talley, the big fullback, and the quick opener, straight up the middle, and Talley almost got it to the promised land. Number 23, Blaine Hardy, a defensive back, made it his tackle. First and goal to go at the four-yard line. Johans Brown lined up at a wing back to the right side. He'll go in motion. Johans, first team All-American linebacker. Here's the handoff to Kizzy up the middle, and Kizzy gets down to the one-yard line. Keith Kizzy stopped short of the goal line by Lanky again, number 51 for Montana Tech. South Richard, which 231. Double tight end set. Wing to the right side is Brown, eye formation. Here's the give to Kizzy, dives over the top into the end zone, touchdown. Keith Kizzy goes in with eight minutes and 59 seconds left to play on the first quarter. The Southwestern Bulldogs right up the scoreboard first as they take a six to nothing lead over Montana Tech. Well, Chuck, that was a pretty methodical uh, drive. That's a pretty methodical, nothing fancy of the Bulldogs take the lead. Ball snap back, spotted down. Here's the kick up, and the kick is no good. As Jeff Steinberg misses a kick, there's a timeout on the field, eight minutes, 50. Don't let your clothes leave town without you. Here's the kickoff by Steinberg, a booming kick again. This one is through the end zone and out of the end zone, so Southwestern will push Montana Tech back at their own 20 for the second time in this ballgame. Southwestern going 42 yards, nine plays. Mark Jensen out of cutback, Montana. Single uh, setback is Jimmy Watson. Here's the give to Watson. Watson trying to get the right side. Brandon Tucker got a hand on him. And slowed him down. Making with the left side. Eye formation. Flanker set to the right side. Bulldogs in a four-man defensive front. Four linebackers are four up behind the line. Uh, almost a 4-3, four, 4-4 four, four set. Jensen is a quarterback. Here's the handoff. Up the middle goes Watson across the 25 out to the 27-yard line of the carry. Goes Jimmy Watson. Watson. It'll be third down. Adjustment on his uh, shoulder pads. As quarterback Jensen looks over the Bulldog defensive front four. On a delay, Watson rolls right. Watson going to tuck it and run. Watson across the 30, and Watson out to the 33-34 yard line. Nice shot by Watson. Full way, seven yard pitch up and the first down, as she said. 28 and a half yards total offense, fourth in the nation. Flanker wide to the left side, man in motion, shotgun formation. Here is a pass thrown behind the line of scrimmage complete to Al Almanza, and Almanza gets the ball across the 40 out to the 42. Receiver for Montana Tech, he has caught 55 pass Montana Tech going without a huddle. Left end split, twin receivers to the right side, the twin receivers set up side by side. Here's the give to Watson, trying to go outside. Watson gets to the corner, 45, and Watson, oh, is cut down. Boy, Watson's heels went over his head that time as he was hit by Southwestern's general. He went down, so it's going to be it's going to be a first down, but just barely. Montana Tech picking up their second first down fans, following Toby at two apartments. Left end is split. Twin receivers to the right side, single setback. Jensen, the quarterback. 
Diggers from right to left for the Ore Diggers. Here is the quarterback faking a handoff and carrying the football across the 50, and Jensen gets hit at the 49 and laid out by Landon Curtis. Nice hit by second down and three. Well, there's some, something we found out about these Montana balls. Double tight end set this time for Montana Tech. Wide outs to both sides, single setback. Here's the give to Watson, and Watson off the left side. Watson hits down to the 42 yard line. Montana Tech, fourth duration and scoring it down. Three yards to go for the first down. Well, to the left side is Josh Vincent. Shotgun, or not a shotgun, quarterback is up underneath the uh, center. The uh, center is Zach Brown, a 253-pound senior from Eagle River, Alaska. Here's the handoff to Watson. Breaks outside. Watson to the 40. Watson to the 35. And Watson tackled by Mike Marshall Oliver down at the 33-yard line. Marshall Oliver, a 200. Montana Tech is Montana Tech has picked up four first downs. Watson is also in. They weren't in any big hurry to, to get the play in motion, but uh, that was a nice play. First and 10 at the 32. Back to throw. Here's a pass thrown complete down at the 27-yard line to receiver Lorenzo Snyder from quarterback Martin. Vincent the fullback, and then Watson is the uh, tailback. Four-man defensive front for Southwestern. Here's the uh, quick pitch back to Watson, left side. Ooh, Watson is hit at the 25. Some big hits being made for the ball. time, Johan welcomed uh, Mr. Watson to Oklahoma. 61 of the backfield is a blocking back. Double tight end set. Power eye formation as they're going for it on third down. Spinning out to the right side. Jensen, Jensen going wide open. The receiver to the five into the end zone. Touchdown. Brian Larson. So they think they were going to run him with a double tight end set up to six. And uh, it was one of those things, you, you see that play used in the first quarter. Ball is snapped back, spotted down, the kick is up, and the kick is good as David Womack almost got in and blocked it. So Montana Tech is taking the loose. Here's the kickoff for Montana Tech after the taking the lead. The kick goes to the side and will go out of bounds at about the 18-yard line. Montana Tech respecting the Southwestern's deep kickoff return guard. Was a flag on the out? Finally, see it over there by the uh, sideline. I, I knew there was a photo, but not front riders. They're just fairback riders. Fairback runners. Fairback rooters. Very impressive. 11 uh, plays. And then the uh, touchdown pass to Brian Larson from Mark Jensen. The extra point kick put the old diggers on top. Low kick on the ground. Ball hits at the 30. Would be filled at the uh, 26 by Brown across the 30, 35, 40. And Willie gets the ball out to about the 43 yard line. So Montana Tech goes in the deep most to the 44th of the Bulldogs pick home, pick it over. Montana Tech on defense has six people up in the line of scrimmage. Now they're back off to five as one of the linebackers came up. Here's the handoff straight up the middle across the 40 to the 41 yard line. Goes the ball carries to 230 pound sophomore from Sims, Montana, and also by Paul from other states. Right end split, twin receivers to the left side, or actually trips to the left side. Brad Woodard, junior quarterback, four-man defensive front for Montana Tech, back to throw the football. Woodard, beautiful pass downfield over throw, intended for David Willis on a fly pattern down the sideline. Down around the 50, running stride for stride with him. Blaine Harlick Reed will go wide right, will have trips to the right, or Charlie Reed drive wide left, will have trips to the right side. Reggie Jackson back in motion towards the line of scrimmage. Shotgun formation. Woodard throws back across the grain, and it's incomplete. Thank you, intended for Charlie Reed, and Reed comes really designed for Reggie. He looks like he was more designed for Charlie Reed. Well, and, and Woodard is talking, running back at his own 13. Jeff Steindorf, the kicker for Southwestern. Steindorf averaging 37 yards a kick. As the deep snapper for Southwestern, Jason Chris, bad snap, one hops, and here's the kick away. Oh, Manza lets it go over his head, hits it to five, goes into the end zone, out of the end zone. So Montana Tech will start at their own 20 yards, a 53-yard punt, it'll net 33. Right side, man in motion of the right side is Chris Turner. The uh, quarterback hands the football off, and straight ahead goes the ball carry across the 20 out of junior out of Butte, Montana. He's a fullback. Feed it to the right side. Bulldogs for the four-man defensive front. A handoff up the middle across the 25 out to the 29 yard line on the carry goes Chris Turner, middle of Montana. And looking at the uh, numbers, uh, Turner is the number four eye back there again. So uh, we'll see what they do this time. They scored a touchdown on the last time when they slipped out the tight end. Quarterback calls his own number and straight ahead goes Jensen. Jensen gets out to the 
40-yard line and we'll pick up the first down. Seven to six, a minute 37 left to go in the first quarter. The officiating crew is out to the right side. Bulldogs playing for the national championship for the first time since 1977. Both teams in the playoffs for only the third time in their histories. We're spreading wide with the ball, throwing. The quarterback pass is incomplete at the 40-yard line in front of the lined up on the beat for the quarterback and his legs were out from the middle. Second down and 10 at the 31. Left end split, twin receiver to the right side out of the shotgun. Back to throw is Jensen. Jensen throws behind the line of scrimmage. It's caught at the 35 and after the 40 yard line of the reception goes Alonzo Snyder. Johans Brown in pursuit. Attack is completing now five of five passes. 183 pound freshman from Plano, Texas. Third down and one. Double tight end set. Power line formation to the right side. Here's the give, and straight up the middle. Looks like he may be short of the first down. Chris Turner. As Turner got right across the uh, 40 tackle for Coach Paul Sharp's Bulldogs with 80 stops. Referee says, let's bring the chains out and the measure. It was a very slow developing play there. Usually, uh, when you have short yardage like that, you like to go to quick count and have a quick, uh, quick play. But the very slow developing as they came back and uh, once again, uh, Jensen kind of strolls back to hand the ball off on the draw. As we said, the referee, Norman Brooks out of Lee, Summit, Missouri, Ken Bradshaw out of Raymore, Missouri, the umpire, Carl King out of Kansas City, Missouri, the back judge, Ross Weber out of Lee, Summit, the line judge, Gary Waite out of KC, Missouri, the field judge, Ken Rafferty out of Cameron, Missouri, the linesman, and the alternate is Terry French out of Liberty, Missouri. Well, it's short by about three inches, and then it's across the way, outnumbered, but are staying and cheering for their team to get the first down. They're going for it on fourth down and inches. All right, formation, part of the right side at the 41-yard line. Quarterback Jensen gives it off again, and the uh, ball carrier is going to be stopped short. There's a marker, the ball, the, the play was blown dead, so we'll see what the penalty's going to be. Chris Turner, that may determine something. Now, I don't know. Chuck, you've been to Montana, spent some time up there. Does the wind blow in Montana like it does here in Oklahoma? Well, in the summertime in June for the College National Finals Rodeo, I go in the first quarter. It's Montana Tech 7. Remember, Wolfies are holding it. I think they, they were doing us a favor by holding it. And uh, now they say, okay, let's put them all in play. So the punter for Montana Tech, Lorenzo Snyder, he is uh, second in the nation, punting at 38 yards a kick. He'll get a taste of Western Oklahoma win on this one. Ball snapped back low, gets the kick away. Landon Curtis almost blocked it. Ball hits at the 40, takes a Montana Tech roll across the 35, across the 30, down to the 27, so it's going to be a nice kick in the land. But Landon Curtis almost got a piece of that ball, and Southwestern will start back at the... As we go back to play and start the second quarter on first and ten at the 26, Keith Kizzy on the uh, carry up the middle as Kizzy gets the football game, I guess, I guess in this late in December, December the 7th. It'll be second down and three to go for a first down. Ball back at the 33. Here's the handoff to Kizzy. Breaks out five. Kizzy, 35. Kizzy out to the 37-yard line. Tackle is made by Jesse Kegel. Kegel, 190-pound junior out of Thompson Falls, Montana. Second team all-conference selection a year ago. From 12 snaps, the, uh, the war diggers had 53 yards on 20 snaps. Left end split, flanker right side. Eye formation, Brad Winter, junior quarterback for the Bulldogs. Takes the snap. Takes the handoff to... Uh, Pitches it to Kizzy. Kizzy around the right side gets to the 40-yard line, and Kizzy gets one of those bone-crunching tackles the Bulldogs have been applying, but this time about 40, about 53, like I said. Damon Willis wide to the left side. Flanker wide to the right. Quick snap. Back to throw and play action as Woodard loads up. Throws long to Damon Willis. Got in there. Caught 15 to it. For a touchdown, Damon Willis. What a beautiful throw, beautiful catch. And uh, the defensive back had him play perfect with the 60-yard touchdown strike from Woodard to Willis. Brad Woodard throwing his 12th touchdown pass of the season. Damon Willis on the reception. Bulldogs in a double pack set. Wing formation, eye formation. Uh, shifting over now is Kirk Kelly. As we got Kirk Kelly and Johans Brown both to the left side. Here's a pass to Willie Brown. Right side going to try to take it in, and Brown's going to be tackled the four-yard line. So Montana Tech was not through over the Bulldogs as they went the opposite direction, coming over to cover to make the tackle. Peter Eckerdman, along with others for Montana Tech, 
looks at a variety of things to quote you the best rate, like the type of vehicle involved. Commercial women love station wagons and minivans. Let us show you how to improve your auto coverage and do it for less money. We're Barong Insurance and Real Estate in Weatherford, the agency service built. Oh, as we go back to play, a short kickoff fielded by Dan Haney at about the 16-yard line, and Haney returns the ball out close to the 40-yard line. Dan Haney, 189 pounds off of North from Missoula, Montana. And the tackle put on by Steindorf, right age, uh, 28 years old. Right in split, twins to the left side. Jensen, the quarterback for Montana Tech. Quick slant pass across the middle is complete to Davis Almanza. Almanza hangs on as he was hit by David Womack, also in on the uh, tackle was Johans Brown. And of course, they play in a passing league, a bunch of conference, all the teams in that conference know the football, so you have a lot of opportunities. Ball carriers planted, and it's up the middle with Watson, and he was met head on by, I think, Brandon Tucker. That's exactly what it was. Brandon Tucker filling in there. He stepped down, and uh, nobody right in the split is David Almanza. Single set back, Watson, twin receivers to the left side, Bulldogs a four-man front, two linebackers, the rest in the secondary, and the quarterback calls his own number across the 50, down to the 49-yard line, and a quick snap goes Mark Jensen, the uh, quarterback. Well, he's going to get the first down, but he's going to maybe wish he hadn't, as, uh, as he came through there, Landon Curtis has stood him up and twisted him back, but they're going to give him four progress and the first down. Jensen's rush for 449 yards. Montana Tech defense, we'll tell you about them when we go back on defense about all those pass breakups they had by the different players. In motion, goes Snyder to the left side. Here's the handoff to Watson off the left side. Watson across the 50, 49, 48 yard line. Mark Patterson made the uh, tackle. Watson, a 5'10", 183 pound junior. They get up there, they call play. You watch Watson, he'll look down and look at his wrist and, uh, and see what the play is they're gonna run. Jensen takes the direct snap out of the shotgun, dances around, steps up, scampers now across the 45-40 and down to the 37-yard line goes Jensen. Well, Jensen has lived up to his pregame billing, being not only a great passer, but a very dangerous runner. Tackle was made that time by the down line with two linebackers backed off the line. Ball snap back, handed off to Watson up the middle, and Watson is crushed at the 35-yard line by the linebacker, Johans Brown, who came up to fill the hole. Also, Gary Bigelow assisting on the uh, stop. Vermont from Great Falls, Montana, and David Nesty, a 256-pound redshirt freshman out of Great Falls. Second down and eight or nine, back to throw, stepping up as a quarterback, running with the ball now is Jensen, as Jensen gets down to the 30-yard line. Jensen took two or three steps forward, couldn't find anyone open, ran with it, and Brandon Tucker made the uh, tackle at the 30. They scored first, missed the extra point, and then Montana Tech put together an 80-yard drive and scored and kicked the extra point to take the lead, 7-6. Here is uh, Jensen being chased by Newberg throwing. It's complete down at the 20-yard line, down to the 19-18-yard line. Ball pops loose, but the play had already been whistled dead. The ground calls the fumble. Darby McKee was the receiver, number 22. Darby, a 6'2", 185-pound uh, senior. Uh, that time they found the one that was uncovered. High formation. Blanker left, right end split. Jensen, looks like he might be calling an audible. Well, of course, he is calling an audible at the line of scrimmage because he gets... Here's Jensen up the middle. Here's Jensen across the 15. Jensen down to about the 12-yard line. Jensen does audibleize at the line of scrimmage because they, uh, they don't huddle, so he has to call the play at the line of scrimmage. 10 when we started the game, but it's a little stronger than that now, probably 10 to 20. All right, formation. Now we've got the movement, jumping off sides, jumping the gun with Shy Montana, and he fired out of the box. And Gary Bigelow, second down, and now nine to go for the first down. The ball at the 17-yard line. Montana Tech averages seven penalties a game, but only 27 yards a game in penalties, so most of them are short uh, penalties. Jensen, scrambling, Jensen, flushed down the pocket, rolls right, throws, got a receiver there, touchdown! Ball caught in the end zone by Josh Benson. A 17-yard touchdown pass to Josh Vincent, and Montana Tech has taken the lead back as they can attack. Uh, that is uh, it's Dustin Serzlin, and Serzlin has missed only one extra point this season. Ball snapped back, spotted down. Here's the kick by Serzlin. The kick is up. The kick is good. Montana Tech has increased their lead to two. There's a time on the field with seven minutes, 42 seconds left to go in the first half. Montana Tech to 17. That's at halftime of the game being played in St. Louis for the Big 12 Championship, first ever Big 12 Championship. Here's the uh, kickoff by Serzlin. In deep in the end zone, about nine yards deep and out of the end zone. So the Bulldogs will start at their own 20-yard line on 
quarterback Gibson broke, broke free from the scramble. There with Gibson wide open. All right, formation. Twin receivers to the left side for the Bulldogs. Damon Willis wide to the right side. Brad Woodard, the junior quarterback from uh, Dewey, gives the football off and carrying the uh, football and stopped short of the line of scrimmage at about the 19-yard line that time was the uh, big fullback for Southwestern Kirk Talley, 227-pound sophomore from Farmersville, Texas State. Left end split, twin receivers to the right side, eye formation. Montana Tech with a five-man defensive front. They've got movement, we've got uh, flags and whistles. Offensive line for the Bulldog Center is Mark Edders, a 6'5", 270-pound junior from Norman. All the guards, Jason Penny, a 251-pound junior from Norman. And the other guard is Dwight Mitchell, a 291-pound junior from Seminole. Illegal procedure called against Southwestern. I believe the Bulldogs' first penalty assessment, they're averaging eight penalties for 68 yards. The tackles for the Bulldogs we go for the first down. Here's the quick pitch back to Willie Brown, sweeping the right side as Willie across the 15 out to the 17, 18 yard line. Tackle made by Jason Fleury. Fleury, a 6'2, 273 pound freshman from Butte, Montana. Leading the way that time is Robert Drew in the playoffs for only the third time in their history, both schools. Reggie Jackson in motion back towards the line of scrimmage, shotgun formation. Woodard throws a wounded duck and it's knocked away by, I think, Reggie Jackson. He was trying to knock it away to keep it from being intercepted. Chris Prince was had better position on the ball. Looks like he might be ready to make an interception. Well, I think Woodard had it. I don't know, but uh, I think the wound had a lot to do with it. I don't think it was deflected, but it was not a, a very well thrown ball. It was a wobbler. To kick it into the wind is Jeff Steindorf. Now, Steindorf used to kicking as well. Let's see how he does. He drives the kick out. The wind holds it up. Fair catch signal for and made at the 45-yard line by Montana Tech's Davis Almanzen. Montana Tech leads it 14 to 12. Five minutes, 52 seconds left to go. In a, let's see if they follow through the corn. Shotgun formation on first and 10, just outside the 44. Back to throw is Jensen. Throws the screen behind the line of scrimmage. It's incomplete. Hit the receiver in the hands. Unfortunately, he was trying to turn and look to see where he was going before he caught the ball and missed it. Intended receiver, receiver was Davis. Uh, we didn't see the marker. It's it going to be a face mask in the against the Bulldogs. And then on the left side, eye formation. There's the handoff up the middle. Straight ahead goes the ball carrier across the 35, down to the 34 before Johans Brown rolls him down. Carrying the football that time for Montana Tech was Josh Vincent, the Black Tech in white. Green numbers, silver helmets. The colors, the school colors are copper green and white. They have copper stripes on their shirt sleeve. Of course, ore diggers, you know what the economy around Butte has been in past history. Here's a long pass downfield, incomplete as Landon Curtis covering the Bulldogs had a better chance of catching the ball than the intended receiver, Lorenzo Snyder, and the Bulldogs have been able to do that. Second down, 10 to go for first down, the ball at the 33. Man in motion is Josh Vincent. Here's the handoff to Watson, breaks the tackle, got away from Robbie Newberg, and not many do that, gets the ball down to the 30. Brandon Tucker makes the tackle. Seconds, four seconds. Three seconds, two seconds, one second, and the play clock expires, and we don't have any whistles. Who's keeping the time down in the field? Well, I correct myself. I'm misreading the play clock. It's back to four seconds. Here's the pass thrown out in the flat, incomplete. As Jake Jensen was the uh, defender for the Bulldogs coming over to cover, Glass in the booth next to us. The sun is in a different position than what he's been in the past. We're going to have a field goal attempt. Ball will be spotted at the 38 yard line, make it a 48 yard kick by Sozlin. He is 7 of 8 in field goals this season. The kick is long enough, high enough, but off to the right. As the field goal attempt off to the right by Sozlin, the attempt comes with 2 12 in the South Richard Bulldogs will take over the football. That's 26 in the score, starting with 1 20 in front of him, so this is the quick possession. Left end split, flank to the right side. Woodard, the short drop, looks, pulls it down, loads up, now and throws to Kizzy. It's caught at the 40, 35, and Kizzy tackled at the 35-yard line. Making the uh, tackle was Blaine Hardy. Hardy, the free safety. Keith Kizzy on the reception of the Woodard to pass. As Woodard dropped back, puck once, and then through Kizzy has caught seven passes this season. Left end split, flank on the right side. On the reverse, here's the give to Damon Willis. He's to the 30, 25. Willis to the 20, 
cuts back inside to the 15. Willis down to the 19-yard line, or to the 14-yard line. Damon Willis with a great speed. National runner up in the 100-meter dash last year at the NAI track and field meet. High formation. Jackson wide left, right into his foot. Here's the quick pitch back to Keith Kizzy near side. Kizzy to the 15, to the 14. Kizzy is tripped up by Montana Tech's Ben Takus. Takus, a 6'2", 260-pound redshirt freshman out of power in Montana. It'll be second down, five to go for today. McDonald's home of all 101 Dalmatians. Receive one every happy meal. Man in motion, Reggie Jackson from left to right. Here's the give to Kirk Talley, and Talley straight ahead. As Talley gets down to the eight, maybe the seven-yard line, as the Montana Tech defense stopped him, Kent Bowes was one of the tacklers we see in there, number 35. Also, we see Paul Lapke, the strong wide right. Wide on the left side is Damon Willis. In motion comes Jackson back to the left side from right to left. Here's the quick pitch to Kizzy, sweeping the right side. Kizzy sprints to the fair five to um, the four-yard line. It's, Kizzy is tackled short of the end zone, but looks like he may have the first down. They're going to mark it at the three, so that is a first down. As Kizzy picks up five yards. Lane Hardy made the tackle. Hardy to free safety. Just over an hour into it, and uh, about two and two minutes, 15 seconds left to and a half. And they've uh, completed a lot of passes rather than a lot of incompletions, so the clock has continued to run. Here's the handoff to Kizzy left side. Kizzy fights his way to the end zone. Touchdown! Southwestern takes the lead back, 18-14. Keith Kizzy goes in from three yards out for the Southwestern Bulldogs as Kizzy has just scored his seventh rushing touchdown of the season. Uh, Tally has just been uh, open up to some holes that Kizzy's been running right behind him. Bulldogs go for the two-point conversion. Woodard rolls right. Woodard back throws the pass deflected. was intended for Charlie Reed, and somebody got a hand on him down around the goal line and knocked it away. The, uh, Jesse Kegel was the Montana Tech. 2041 Clinton or toll free 1 800 310 6336. Back to play on third down and six. Jensen back to throw, scrambling for his left. 